Professor Fuchs, thank you very much for your insightful presentation, which showed us some very interesting figures about fortification in its broader sense. Maybe to start with, could you describe the need for growth for premature babies? Yeah, thanks for that question. Uh, so there is a paradigm shift during the last 10 years in uh, neonatal medicine, especially in preterm medicine. It's not longer about only survival of babies, but it is about uh, proper survival of babies. Um, so those babies who survive and uh, who are exposed to a minimum of complications to make them grow like if they would have stayed in utero. And that is on one hand uh, that they achieve a proper body, but it's also that they achieve a proper brain. And brain has only a certain period of time where it can really grow, and brain size matters. It's as simple as that. Bigger brain, uh, more brain substance, more volume means you will most likely be more intelligent. And that is why growth and nutrition matters. Why is the milk of mothers, of premature babies, valuable, absolutely valuable, but still not valuable enough? So breast milk is indeed a very valuable substance because Mother Nature has invented it as the sole source of nutrients for, for term babies. And it's not only about uh, nutrients like proteins, like calories or fat or carbohydrates. There's a lot of other stuff in breast milk, growth factors, immunological factors, everything that helps babies uh, to, to achieve a proper metabolism, proper growth, and also some of the Macronutrients like proteins are better digestible compared to other milk of other species. And that is what makes breast milk extremely valuable, these um, uh, factors. What makes breast milk a little bit critical for preterm babies is that the nutritional content, Mother Nature has adjusted it for term babies. And preterm babies has, have up to three times higher needs. So breast milk is not rich enough. And that is the problem. We cannot use pure breast milk to feed preterm babies without exposing them to the risk of getting further growth retardation uh, outside of the body of the mother. And that is the reason why fortification is needed. Where do we stand with fortification today? Fortification is not a new concept. Um, what uh, the neonatal community and uh, industry have developed is our standard fortifiers. The assumption is an average content of um, breast milk, uh, but that is only half of the truth. In reality, breast milk uh, um, levels vary a lot between individuals, so in bet between mothers. So there are babies that get rich breast milk no problem. But then there are babies that get breast milk that is not rich enough in fat, in protein, uh, and others. So this needs to be fortified. Uh, and standardized fortification is not enough. It needs to be fortified in an individual way, which means that we need to have methods that can measure breast milk content. Um, with target fortification, we stand at the beginning, to say it clearly. There are a few groups in the world who are working on this, uh, on that. Uh, um, but it's not yet standard of practice. I'm convinced that it's the right way uh, to do it. To be clear, 60-70% of the babies might not need it, but 30-20% uh, of the babies might benefit from it. If you would um, want to name two or three challenges that uh, are most uh, um, urgent to being solved, is that, for instance, the um, analysis equipment or... One uh, challenge is definitely analysis equipment. Uh, right now we have uh, milk analyzers that have not been developed for human milk, uh, but have now been calibrated, but have some drawbacks, and uh, we cannot measure all macronutrients that are necessary with the uh, required pre precision. So there is definitely some work to be done. Uh, and then to develop an overall concept that we get the buy-in from the neonatal community at bedside. That means that dietary assistants or dietitians or bedside nurses uh, will do it because um, we find that uh, it, 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 is, it is reasonable to do it because it improves outcome of babies. Thank you very much.